too fake Fuck it, I'm paid I can't even find an empty spot inside my safe I got Cardi's on my eyes Louis on my case Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make 3D text and or cool intros in Sony Vegas Pro 10 and 9 So what you want to do is you want to start up Sony Vegas Pro 10 or 9 Lobster shrimp and calamari right here chilling on my plate. Sorry, I they gotta move the cam studio. Even when I'm late, even if it's right, a so lot, they say everything is great. I'm grabbing the fattest asses just to All see right, there we go, cam, cam studio. Alright, so I just wanted to hide that. So, what you do is you go to media generators. Well, no, first, what you want to do is you want to insert four video tracks. In the timeline. This is a timeline. Insert four video tracks. All right. So now that you've done that, what you want is you want to go to color gradient in media generators and get the uh, elliptical ring and just drag it and drag it to the second um, track. So right here, these little buttons, you can move the elliptical ring, make it smaller, make it bigger. Make the color inside um, st stand one solid color. The outside one solid color. It'll just change the background color of that color. But for number two, just click on it or move it if you want the elliptical ring to be smaller. And just change it to a color that you like. So I, I personally like red. So let's, let's do red. Alright, so if you can see... You can see it right here. This is the preview. It looks pretty nice. Alright, so yeah, that's that's how you do that. Alright, so now you want to go under the elliptical ring track and you want to insert text media. Alright, so uh, there's a lot of fonts you can choose from. Choose whatever font you want. I um, personally like La, La Bamba LET. Looks pretty nice. Alright, so. Alright, that's good. So, of course, you can't see all the text. So, what you want to do? Oops, sorry. Um, so, what you want to do is. Oh, sorry. There you go. So what you want to do is you want to change uh, the font to at least, well, however it'll fit. But as you can see, it still kind of sticks out a little bit. So let's change it to 36. That's perfect. All right. So uh, properties. You can change the text color, the background color. I'm not gonna mess with that. I like my text white. Draw outline and draw shadow. Yes. So I'm gonna make my text red, just like my elliptical ring, so it can look even and nice. And that's how it'll look after. It looks kind of weird right now, but uh, it'll look better. So now let's even this out with that all right so we don't really need this first track so don't don't worry about this first track but this track right here the last one the fourth one we're gonna go to color solid color you're gonna get black and you just put it under that under the text keep it at black and what that does it just leaves the background a uh, cool black color it, it won't change colors all right so now for the 3d text in motion what you want to do is you want to go to the compositing mode which is this little green button here and choose 3d source alpha do the same for the text 3d source alpha all right so once you've done that you want to go to track motion and you want to close all these boxes except for rotation rotation is the only one you don't move all right so let's see what do i want uh 80 80 sounds about right so it'll turn like that all right now you're gonna go to this little um timeline and you're gonna move it as you can see if it, as you can see right here it also moves right here so what you want to do is you want to move it right before the introduction ends and what you want to do is you want to put 
the exact same number but in negative so negative 80 and there you go alright so this is how it'll look from the start I haven't changed the text but with the elliptical ring it's moving looks good doesn't it alright so of course it doesn't have to be the exact same number I put but I just put that just to show you guys so now you want to do the same thing for the text you want to go to um, track motion close all the boxes go to the Y and put the same exact number as the as the elliptical ring so 80 and then move it all the way to the end and you want to do I'm sorry negative 80 and that's it so now we'll play from the beginning looks pretty nice doesn't it so yeah that's um that's all that's really it but I mean um if you guys want to stick around a little longer um there is something else you could do you could um change the color of the elliptical ring just go to go to um generator mode on the elliptical ring man did it again all right so what you want to do is you want to go to let's let me make this smaller all right go to animate and that's the bottom button now let's say you just want to change the color once move it you move the timeline I'm patil about let's let's do right here all right so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the two and I want to change it to green let's say green green looks nice all right so let's just leave it at that and now let's play from the beginning yeah looks pretty nice doesn't it and you could also do the same thing for the text you could animate it change the timeline change text change the um, shadow and outline um, so thank you guys for watching like subscribe comment and uh, please um, leave some feedback and tell me what you guys think alright bye